The discoveries are the highlight of a new route through the Western Wall tunnels that sheds light on Jewish life in Jerusalem during the time of Jesus. It's unbelievable to see this new excavation here. Maybe 15 years ago when I started guiding here, I was standing above us and saying, you know, underneath the arch, there's something. So now we are inside that something. Johanna Bisror from the Western Wall Heritage Foundation said the new route will open in a few months. VIPs were invited this day for a preview. We have a beautiful complex on the Second Temple period, maybe one of the most beautiful next to the Western Wall. You can see ritual bath, beautiful columns. The discovery began here more than a hundred years ago when British archaeologist Charles Warren climbed through a hole into this room. Now archaeologists have uncovered two more chambers. And when we saw this room, which was the first thing to be revealed in the new excavations, we were excited because we realized what was not known then, that we are actually in the parallel room of the uh, Hasmonean or Herodian hall that was already known since Warren's time, since the 19th century. This is one big building. The discovery of these rooms less than 100 feet from the Temple Mount adds a new layer of understanding to Second Temple times 2,000 years ago. It was a building for the elite of the city, for the city councillors, for the rulers, a meeting place of them, a place where they could host their important guests just before climbing with them up to the Temple Mount. It's unlikely that Jesus would have been a guest here. If Jesus was a guest of the uh, city councillors of Jerusalem at that time, he could. And the building was a place to host the elite, so who knows? I'm not so sure he was considered to be such a, an honor, but who knows? Who knows? Everything is possible. IAA excavation director Shlomit Wexler-Bedolach said the only other building decorated like this one in Jerusalem at the time was the Temple Mount itself. And there's more, an indoor fountain and reservoir connecting the two chambers. Here you see the capitals. They are still preserved. In the center of each capital, there is a hole. In this hole, there is a lead pipe that is inserted where the water would come out. This is a fountain that was within a very magnificent building, so possibly they could control the flow of water. When there were guests and they wanted to impress them, they opened and the water would have flowed. When there was no guest, they closed. At some point, this room was repurposed as a huge mikveh or ritual bath, maybe the largest in Jerusalem. Archaeologists say it may have been shortly before the temple was destroyed and the Jewish people scattered in 70 AD. Two weeks before the ninth of Av, the Hebrew months of Av, which is the day of the destruction of the second temple, for us to reveal that today and maybe let's say let's learn from the past and just learn something for the future, that's something very moving for us. Julie Stahl, CBN News, the Western Wall Tunnels, Jerusalem.